Hey, good morning, Tara. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just uh, doing a quick virtual tour on our 2018 Toyota Hilux, the uh, Workmate full drive sitting here in front of me. Currently one of the cheapest in Queensland at only 42 990 drive away. Uh, mate, absolute glamour car. It was literally a local owner by business here in Cairns and uh, full service history literally through us. So can't get better than that. Uh, before we get into it, mate, obviously just a bit of an idea who we are because I do understand you are down south. So, mate, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. Uh, I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. We've got another location up at 77 Mulgrave Road. And you can see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the back there, service department drop-offs, the whole works as well. So, mate, it means we get some absolute glamour cars just like this Hilux here as well. So we'll make our way just across the front here. Um, basically, the whole idea of this made us be as honest as we possibly can. So very tidy across the actual bonnet itself. Apologies for the little bit of water. We did have a little bit of rain last night. But very clean across the front here. So not too much to be able to actually show you just yet. No, that's just a little bit of dirt. Again, very, very tidy across the front. You can even see down the lines of the car there too, so no dents or anything down the sides. Absolutely stacks of treads left on these guys. I thought I'd kick them out so you can see that too. So you see the little indicators all the way in there. So stacks of tread left on these guys. And very clean through the inside there as well, through the spring setup. And on the actual wheels themselves. So they look like black sun rages here with the Toyota, with the Toyota Center. But very tidy, just the genuine workmate wheels, wheels sorry. Uh, very clean across the front looks like no that's just a little bit of that may come off same with that that's just a little bug not too bad across the front couple tiny little sort of stone chips in that but only very very light they're only very faint so very clean across the front we've got a tiny tiny little bit of a scuff just there but the same thing a bit of polish may clean that up it's always something we can look at for you same just there as well just a little stone chip there for you just give you a quick look underneath as well. So super clean through the bash plates. And again, got the uh, matching black wheels the whole way around, the workmate wheels. And heaps of tread left in these guys. So the actual windscreen itself, so no chips or cracks or anything like that as well. And take it right up to the roof. So obviously all our cars will guarantee no hail damage, no flood damage, no write-offs or anything like that. We won't touch them. So very clean down the actual body of the car. Down to the passenger side front door. Looks like tiny, tiny sort of faint fingernail marks just from people sort of grabbing the door handle itself. Very clean through the actual inside here as well. On that passenger side front door guard. Of course you've got the electric windows the whole way around too. And you build compliance plates, everything there for you as well. Being the workmate with the cloth seats, vinyl floors, and very clean right across that dash. You've got solid handles the whole way around on all four doors. So we've got them in the corners at the top and again at the back and in the corners as well. So absolutely stacks of uh, handles makes it really nice to jump in and out, that sort of thing. Show through to the back there too. So like I said, it was literally locally owned and serviced by us. So very tidy through here. Not a lot to sort of show you. We've got that obviously the storage in the in the top section there. We've got the uh, glove box in the bottom, all your books and everything are down the bottom. So what I, like I said, it was a company here in Cairns. I just can't show you their details because this will be uploaded to YouTube. But like I said, first service through Pacific Toyota. So that's us, 2019, 10,400. Awesome service history here. So 2020 at 20,000. 2020 at 27, still through us. 2021, 39,000 through us. 2021 at 50,000 through us. Uh, 2022 at 60,000 through Pacific Hino, so that's still us. And Coral Motors, that's our workshop too. So when they come in, if they're due for a service for our used cars, we get them done. So Coral Motors, that's still our workshop as well. Uh, so 2022 at 67,000 Ks. So full service history through Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. I can't beat that, that is for sure. So just keep carrying on down to the obviously the rear door here now too. Got a little bug print there, but we won't throw him in for you. Again, super clean across the top there. Just while I'm here, I want to show you between the um, obviously the, between the cab and the canopy there and the tray, very tidy. Through the back here too. And you got a little strap here that you can pull up. 
so that will, will actually lift up. That can hook around the headrest there as well and clip into place with those little buttons if you want to keep this up. So it's good for putting boxes, fridges, stuff like that in here. You have a little bit of storage under that one. And then your jack and tools are right under that one as well. And that just clicks back down into place. Obviously got the three seat belts here too. Um, if you want to put kids in here, that's what you use for the child anchor points on the back there too. So tiny little bit of creases sort of marks, but they're not actually, it doesn't look like dirt. It's just sort of little, very faint sort of creases in the roof, but otherwise incredibly clean. Now going through that door cart as well. Got the child locks just there for you too. A few releases here, but I can show you where that is once we jump inside the car. Now obviously got the rear tiles and wheels here as well. Very clean through those rims. Again, stacks of tread very clean or across that chassis. A little bit dusty, but definitely very well looked after. Got the rear the spare tire on the back there too. So right up under there for you. Not too bad across the back here as well. It's an actual bodywork of the car. You can see again, no dents or anything like that. No cracks in the tail lights, of course. Uh, now these ones, it's locked at the moment, but on the other side I'll show you I've unlocked. Uh, you can actually crack that, push that out from the inside. So you get a bit of ventilation through there. Uh, pretty tidy across the actual tailgate itself. Obviously got the key release there, a little reverse camera under there. And of course we've got the lockable canopy just here. So the inside here, look at the genuine Toyota mat. Uh, that looks like the keys for the canopy as well. So we've got two of those and one actual central locking key for the car itself. So it is removable, so you just undo those bolts if you do want to take the canopy off. Otherwise, very tidy through the inside here. A little bit of wear, of course, through the tray, but nothing too bad, that's for sure. Just the only faint sort of stuff. Even under there, looking pretty tidy. Close those up. Get in the back here. Again, that's just little bits of dirt. So we did have a bit of rain last night, so apologies for that, but we do get them recleaned, obviously, before they do go. Very tight underneath as well. And finally, just down the driver's side here now, too. So, like I said, see how they kick out? So, you can get a bit of ventilation going in there. So, good for fridges, good for um, dogs, stuff like that. Very tidy. Again, heaps of tread left on these guys. Sorry for the dodgy camera work, but just trying to show you as much as we can. And the uh, driver's side now. So now it's, well, I'm actually here and you can see so there's not actually window tint on this one as well. Um, but if you do want to look at that, let me know. I can price some up for you. We can do it all in house, make it nice and easy. Okay, and exceptionally clean through the inside here. This thing is just so tidy. That's it. And finally. Just that driver's door now as well. Looks like a little bit of fade just on the rubbers there. And there's a cleaning agent they can use that can sort of make it look a bit better. I can always ask and see if they can do it, but just to let, it's just a little bit of sun damage on the on the rubbers. But other than that, this thing is just so tidy. So, going through the roof, obviously the rest of the car. So like I said, we've got the one key here, so we'll all fire this up for you. Uh, I'll pop that bonnet because I want to show you under there and that fuel release is just there as well. Um, over on this side here we've got the mirror adjustment. So your left side of the car, right side of the car, and you just adjust that toggle as you need to. Central lock and window locks and of course your electric windows. Um, down on the uh, right hand side here, just above the bonnet release and that, you obviously got an adjustment for these headlights. So I've got an angle there, it goes from about zero to five. But you can actually pivot your headlights. So depending on where you're, how you're driving at night time, if you're out in remote areas, things like that, you can actually get a little more distance out of those headlights. Um, if you park up in your garage of a night time on the door and um, adjust that, you'll actually be able to very clearly see the headlights moving. Uh, we've got the DPF there as well. So this has had that DPF recall. So that's your little manual, manual burn button down there for you as well. Beauty of being a Toyota dealer, we can get all that done prior. Alrighty. So 67,479 kilometers. Uh, that just looks like a little bit of, yep. Just a cleaning agent, so it's a little bit stringy in there, but we, again, like I said, we can get it re before we come down here. Just let us know. 
Uh, 67,479 kilometres, uh, no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing like that, just a seatbelt one because I'm not wearing mine in the course of fuel lights, so it is due for fuel. Uh, not due again for a service until 77,000 kilometres, as you can see at the top there as well. And we're only at 60, so long way to go. Uh, wipers all up on the left hand side, pretty standard. Headlights over on the right, they do have an automatic option for the actual headlights themselves. So they'll turn it on and off, there's a light sensor on the front, so daytime, nighttime, underground car parks, raining, whatever, they'll do their thing. Parkers, headlights, high beams and blinkers are all like normal if you just want to do them yourself. Uh, up on the dash, the steering wheel, sorry, so obviously being the workmate, um, our cruise control button's just down the back here, so again, on and off with that, set and reset with that one there. And Bluetooth radio controls are all over this side here as well. So you can turn it on and off with this one. We can jump between the different sessions and it's all touch screen over this side too. So we can go to the audio, jump into the FM, and all touch screen there too. Otherwise we've got Bluetooth options, AUX, the whole works there as well. Um, otherwise we go, where are we? Car side of things, or your Bluetooth side of things. So once your phone's paired up as well, so all touch screen, real nice and easy. And then of course your Celix through that side of it too. So real nice and easy to control. We've got the volume controls up here in the steering wheel, as well as the uh, touch buttons down there. Uh, obviously being the, the full drive workmate, so if we chuck that into neutral, um, we've got the high two, high four, and low four over here as well. So you don't have to go locking in hubs or anything like that, but all you've got to do is flick that across to H4. Be patient, let it do its thing. It'll flash a few times, and then you can see a little full drive indicator at the top there is now engaged. We're in high four. Put, do it again, push it in to go down to low four. And now your traction control for low and everything's engaged all at the top there as well, just up here. So that's the hectic fault driving beaches, creek crossings, super high revs, but not a lot of speed. And again, just to go back through them, so high four, so dirt roads where you still want to do 80, 100 k's, that kind of thing, the normal gearing, but in four wheel drive, and then back down to uh, H2 there as well. So all electronic, if you ever find that it is flashing and it's not quite engaged properly, put it into drive or reverse and just move in a straight line for a couple meters and it should engage properly for you and let everything catch up. Uh, otherwise, we've got your eco mode, so great for driving around town. Obviously, saves you fuel. We've got power mode, so good for overtaking, towing, full drive, and stuff like that. That little reverse camera at the back shows you the little bumper there. So if you go and put a tow ball on the back or anything like that, you can physically see exactly what you're backing up to. It makes it real nice and easy. Otherwise, it takes it back to that display every time. Uh, Aircon controls are here, so fan speed, temperature, and where you want them coming out of, of course. We've got a little USB and an AUX port there, traction control and the accessory plug. Heaps of storage for the phone, heaps of blank switches for light bars, stuff like that. Cup holders, uh, we've got the real handbrake, heaps of storage there for your phones, and again, more in there as well. And dead set, just an absolute glamour of a car. It's been very, very well looked after. Obviously, it was someone's pride possession. Um, Tiny little bit of marks just up here on this side, on the driver's side itself. Might be just from people grabbing it like that. But other than that, this thing is just so tidy. So before we finish this up, I just want to quickly show you under the bonnet as well. It's a glamour day here. You'd never know that we had freaking storms yesterday, would you? Yeah. So I'll lift that up. So being the workmate, you do have the 2.4 litre full drive turbo diesel motor. Uh, we do have space over the back there for a second battery as well. Let's get the first one at the front. See all the fluids, everything down there too. Everything's all on point. And extremely tidy all up under here as well. So mate, look, that actually concludes our virtual tour. Um, thanks so much for your inquiry again, and yeah, can't wait to hear feedback soon.